This next piece is from my book Loose at Midnight, which is a novel, but it is really multi-genre, so it contains a lot of different kinds of writing in it. There's poetry, there's some teatro, there's kind of like news reporting style writing, there's a couple of songs. Um, and so the particular chapter that I wanted to read is intended to be um, part of a series written by one character who's an academic, uh, a series of research notes, but the form of it is actually uh, a poem. So this is Research Notas number 4, Instructions. As dictated to me by Doña Maria Elena, la mera mera vieja of vamos, as she pushes us out the door with armfuls of pens and petitions, clipboards, maps. One, first contact. First, you make first contact. This is straightforward. You show up where people go to pay light bills that have gone overdue or to plead disconnection notices. You go there because they'll have rates on the brain already and you position yourself along an unavoidable line of their exit from the building. Don't bother them as they go in, they're busy. And don't bother asking for official permission. Security is used to us by now anyway. When we first started coming, they tried to shake their brooms at us and we told them, look, the sidewalks belong to everyone, so you can't run us off. It's a public space and we belong here. We're the public, ha. They didn't expect the Ajitas to know their rights of public assembly, but we had been trained by the best. That's what the organizer from the Industrial Areas Foundation up north, Chicago I think he was from, Raul, told us many years ago we should say, stick to the sidewalks and the public spaces with your ironing boards y todo, and you'll be fine, he said. I guess he knows something, because our other great idea was to make something up. Tell them we're promoting that new program CPL has, the one with the thermometers as if we're estupidas? Of course we are not. We are actually going to the root of the thing, hacia las raíces, all the way down, to crank the wrench, to stop the thing cold in its tracks. So, mijas, grab them as they come out of the building. Don't be afraid to approach your own people, to talk unsolicited. I promise you'll be surprised by what you find what you learn about what nuestra gente is going through. That's the reason you're here, for gente, so don't be scared. Two, no tiene miedo. Of course, some will say no or brush you off. That's inevitable. Some will be hurrying home to make dinner or take a shower before work, take care of babies or elderly parents. Some just plain aren't interested. That's okay. Don't be scared of rejection. And another thing, never, never ask them if they have a minute or if they want to sign a petition. It's too easy to say no, and besides, the truth is more interesting anyway. Say, you're with a community group and you're fighting the rate hikes council passed and you don't like the way they're transitioning, jacking up the rates on los pobres so los ricos can keep their solar-powered ACs on full blast all summer. So companies like Sizemar can get their fat contracts and get out. They don't mean to, the city, but that's the model. They don't have the imagination to come up with anything better. So what you're doing today is you have a short survey and what you want to know is how much they pay average for lights and gas. And how much is that compared to their income? And did they ever get their lights cut? And did they even know the rates went up? Don't ask them if they have a minute. Tell them, it'll just take a minute. You'd be surprised how many people are willing to help. You'd be surprised at how natural and normal it feels to ask your neighbor a question. Three, their lives already connect the dots. Boss, here's the thing. The survey is a tool. Sure, we do want the information, but really it's to get them thinking on the right track, ¿me entiendes? Because when it comes time to ask if they'll sign, you want them to connect it to their everyday lives. The survey is how you do it. Like, when you get to the question about whether they knew the rates went up, most will say no. Can you believe that? 
And that's when you ask them if they want to sign the petition. See that? That's how it works. Now, some will want to take the sheet home to think it over, they'll say. That never works. You'll never get the thing back. The goal is to get them right there. The goal is to refuse to let them refuse, but without manipulation, no. The goal is to inspire a yes, inflame a desire, para animar. That's why they call us animadoras. With the survey, you won't need to do no explaining why. No explaining, ha. They'll explain it to themselves, their own lives will. Four, of course the process isn't fair. Pero here is lo más importante. First, you will need to make sure they're registered voters. If they're not registered, no problem. You sign them up on the spot. We got you deputized, remember? That's why. Second, is they have to sign up with the address they registered under, not where they currently live. That's where the city tries to trip you. That's where they'll try to throw out signatures. Who the hell remembers where they registered to vote? We've seen it before. Decades back, when we were fighting the unfair budget allocations for streets and drainage. We got 50,000 signatures, which back then was a lot. 50,000 signatures, which they threw out half, saying the people weren't really registered to vote because of the address thing. And whatever little way we tried to maneuver within the system, the system would find a way to block us. If it wasn't throwing out signatures, it was we used the wrong color form or we wrote in the wrong color pen. That's how we learned the system wasn't fair. I think a lot of us going in believed the system would protect us. That is what we had been taught to believe. When we learned it wasn't like that, our little light bulbs went off. Ding, 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 ding. And we lowered our expectations. And it was like, okay, so now we know we're gonna have to be sneaky on top of dignified. We're gonna have to do double duty both outside and in. Mijas, it's the same now as then, more than 40 years later. Not much has changed except now. It's our own people doing it. Like I said, no imagination, just more of the same, more of the same. Why do you think we're called vamos anyway? We're viejas against more of the same. <laughs>